everyone and welcome back to Star Stable. I'm incredibly late to this. It is literally Wednesday of the second week of the summer festival that I'm filming this, but I figured that I might as well try and get this video posted whilst the next update is updating. So maybe you guys have some entertainment because either way I need to do these quests anyways. Um, I got back from holidays and I'm not going to get into it, but like life's just been life, you know? Anyways, so we have a lot to do. So let's head over to Fort Pinter because that's where all of these quests West so, out. Hello. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. I logged on like ages ago, and um, I had to change horses because I was on a horse with no tag, and he, um, Mayor Peanut wasn't showing up. And I was like, "Hello, it's Mayor Peanut, the mayor of Fort Pinter. He approaches you with an envelope in his mouth, beckoning you to take it. You take the envelope and open it, finding an invitation that reads, "You are invited to the beach festival. Place Fort Pinter Beach. Time now." Okay, so I guess that means you know we gotta head over to uh Fort Pinter somewhere um right smack bang on the beach who would have thought I should have brought my fish horses for this but my outfit just everything is a big mess right now <laughs> and there's such cute clothes at the Fort Pinter beach party or summer festival I don't know what it's called this year but unfortunately like I literally my closet is already overflowing I don't know if I can it's probably not good for me to buy anything even like free stuff i'm like look honestly i i don't have a lot of ton of space left a lot of ton of space okay huzzah you're finally here you must have gotten mayor peanut's formal invitation then welcome welcome hello and welcome to the one and only the wondrous beach festival tis i the great theater star talia and super talented mel the wendy to my peter the toad to my frog the watson to my sherlock who's wendy to my peter what is that referencing wendy and peter I'm really not good at references. Now that the introductions are out of the way, welcome, welcome. This year, my drama partner Mel and I will be hosting this fun in the sun affair. Why are you guys hosting? Where did the other guy go? What about should be too? Where'd the other guy go? I like that one. Due to our outgoing personalities and stellar reputation, we were invited to liven up this festival. Seems like people were sick of drinking gross beverages and folding towels all summer. I mean, really, the horror. <gasps> And with our presence it comes a fresh feel to this festival. Yes, behold, we bring with us the luxurious glitz and glamour of stardom. Sand, sea, sharks. What more could one ask for? But first, Cassandra, I asked you this. Answer wisely, for your reply it may change the very fate of this event. She's being overdramatic. Tell me, what does the beach festival mean to you? Relaxing in the summer sun, hanging in with my friends, chilling with my horse. What kind of question is that? Uh, relaxing in the sun. Sure, let's go for that. Excellent, amazing, wonderful. And what if I told you that every one of your answers was the right one? Yes, it's true. The beach festival has something for everyone. We're collabing with the Fort Pinter Minister of Tourism to pull together the best beach party yet. He's an interesting kid, very passionate about financial pursuits. You know what? I've decided, let's... James? James is just thinking ahead. James? He's gonna be the one to afford the house that everyone says they can't afford these days. <laughs> you know? You know what? Good on James. Good on James. Anyway, we're proud to say this festival is equal parts relaxing and entertaining. Also, we hope so. Please allow us to show you all around. Over here is the new smoothie store. Rest assured, everything served is taste tested for quality control. No more potato water drinks from here on out. This is where you can realize the all new biodegradable paper lanterns as much as they float away. Finding that your pockets are full, we've got the solution to that storage locker stay fabulous without hauling all your old clothes and gear yeah well my closet is also full okay thanks for rubbing it in <laughs> if you're looking to clothe yourself or get autumn root up in uh summer's latest finery look no further than our beachfront boutiques uh, and the PS, the piece de resistance fishing. We've worked hard with the Orvic Fishing Club to make it more fun and intuitive without harming the fishies. Trust me, you're going to want to check it out. Oh, okay. And last but not least, drum roll please, the dance floor. The dance floor? Oh no, we forgot to set up the dance floor. Avert your eyes, don't let it kill the relaxing vibe. So that's an issue. What's a beach party without a dance floor? 
We've been so caught up in manifesting the chill aura that we forgot to set up the dance floor. If you could find the time to set it up, Cassandra, you'd be finishing, you'd be the finishing touch of the festival. All you have to do is assemble the dance floor with the materials found in the crates. Awesome. Okay, do I have to get off my horse? Or do I just click? You need to dismount. Awesome. Except it worked anyway. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, this is kind of chill. Don't you love how like it's literally the summer festival and I am showing no skin? <laughs> Sometimes like I don't really like singlet tops. I feel like they make, um, I did not know that you could have this pale of a skin. Is that bad to say? Oh my gosh. Anyways, I just caught it out of the side of my eye. Okay. I don't, like, the singlets make our shoulders look weird or something. I don't really know. You star. The dance floor looks gl glorious. Have you constructed things like this before? Truly, you're a natural. Oh, you'd be surprised. These hands, these hands have done a lot of building, you know? Wow. We put fences up and now it's considered a dance floor. Glorious. Okay, you say glorious a lot. <laughs> the festival is officially in full swing. We've kept you long enough. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the, what the beach festival has to offer. Uh, hello, beach fair. Oh, how am I is? Cassandra, you look like you're in desperate need of some thrill. Well, have I got the activity for you? Well, hello to you as well, James. You like magic? What if I told you that magic was real? And then you could experience it today. This sounds like a pitch, a money pitch. If I know James, if I know James. James, this wasn't part of the agreement. Yes, for a mere 10,001 your victory. You can enter a race and walk on water. It's magic, let me tell ya. Head on down to the beachfront and speak to our daring magician, Isabel Fig, to find out more. Don't forget to stop by the refreshment store, stamp to your pockets and quench your thirst. Oh, and check out the gift shop before heading home. Cloud mill out. Suddenly, I have a headache. Uh, this isn't what the beach festival is meant to be about, but who are we to stop you? Go ahead and check out Isabel's magic race and let us know how it is. Is that a quest? Like, do I have to do that right now? I think I have to do that right now. I mean, I kind of wanted to, like, check out what new clothes they have. Oh my gosh. They're just... It's... It's... It's nice. I think I... I haven't actually seen any of these things yet. <gasps> Ooh. At least I can buy all the tack in the world until I also have a struggle with that. Like, these are also just really nice. I want to buy it all, but I can't. Like, I can just think of such cute outfits with these colors and everything that I want to cry. Okay. I'm going to be shopping for everything in, like, a different video, but, um, I am sad because i want to own all the things and the things can't be owned by me is there any other shops see there's so many shops okay so this looks like a beach token goods oh and then you can like okay this is like giving me foresty vibes i really like the colors of this this is really pretty oh and you can also get the stuff that we oh why nope that's not stuff that we got last year Oh, we have, we got these things in a previous year. I don't know why. Ooh, watermelon lantern. That's kind of fun. Well, anyways, is there any pets? There's no new pets here. Well, that's, that's fine. There's also the miscreants merch, but I already own everything. This is where I got my black shorts from, which everyone always asks me about. I think we'll just quickly, like, talk to Kylie Summerbreeze. Hello there! You're wondering what kind of lanterns are hanging behind me? How cool that you're interested in them. I sell beautiful Chinese lanterns in every color imaginable. For many years, creating Chinese lanterns has been a hobby of mine, but now I plan to open this store to sell them. I just need to attract some customers. You want to help me find some customers? Of course you can. I was just about to go send a Chinese lantern up into the sky, but you're very welcome to do it for me. I think that will attract more customers. In order to release it, blah, 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 blah. I already know how to do that. Okay, let's go release a lantern now if i'm being honest i am pretty sure that i can imagine just a couple more con colors than what is uh on display right now can i do any no i think i have to do a yellow one that's that's fine there's just some fun like <gasps> click and drag click and drag there's just some really fun like patterns but i guess you know obviously we don't get that one for free but look a lantern i'm gonna be live streaming this week on America and UK servers because I slept through my SSOCon alarm last week when I was on holidays. So I'm really sorry about that, but um, I'm very excited to um, do some lanterns with you guys. Very, very much fun stuff. I, I think the lanterns look really good when you're like in such a big group, like a live stream and there's just so many going off. 
Thanks so much, Cassandra. Looks so pretty when they fly off like that. I bet we caught everyone's attention. Awesome. And I've just been given another lantern, which I guess we'll go and set off right now because uh, my closet or my inventory is crying. Have another yellow one. Have another yellow one. There we go. I think I'm not too sure what my favorite might be. I do really like the watermelon one, actually. The watermelon one is really cool, except it is like upside down. Like, it's, it's kind of funny. It's like, that's not how I would have, I would have done the lantern the other way around. Like the watermelon, but it's fine. I actually, like, I know they're not going to have added more storage space, but I kind of want to see if they have. Where's the closet? Over here. Please tell me there's another page. Nope, it's all completely full. Completely full. I mean, I actually do have just a few slots left that I could put a couple of miscellaneous clothes back into for a little bit of extra space in my inventory. Let's see how much space I really have left in my inventory to buy clothes and we'll cry about it later. I'm beginning to get very scared because I thought I might have, you know, just a little bit more than this. There we go. Okay, so the clothes in my inventory right now can genuinely not be put away. It's all part of the experience of playing this game. Okay, so I could buy a couple of new items, you know. I've got I've got a little bit of space, but it, it it's not ideal to like have a completely full inventory. So I'm not trying to do that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I probably have like one or two like items that I could sell because they were double ups. But people always tell me to sell stuff and I don't wanna sell stuff because I genuinely like everything in my closet. Like I know I'm weird like that. Anyways, let's continue on with the quests. Oh my gosh, a person. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just a second. I need to get into my speech as per the Minister of Tourism's wishes. Hello and welcome to the most exciting activity this festival has to offer. Races. First, I offer you the original beach race. James thinks it doesn't have enough pizzazz, but I kind of like it myself. 400 horse XP. Oh my gosh. Autumn Road is about to get all the levels in the history of levels just kidding it's not that much but it is a lot more than our average races so i'm happy <gasps> oh we get to jump off the diving dock let's go i feel like that's actually kind of dangerous to jump like that into such shallow water maybe i don't really know all i can say is that i hope no humans are diving off that water because it is definitely not deep enough for humans to dive Wow, this is very twisty turny. This is definitely different. Obviously, like, they've changed the look of the Four Pinta Beach, but this just feels very different to the original beach race. But I suppose it's not that different. <laughs> what am I saying? This is definitely, like, a kiddie pool. Like, you just wade around in it. Like, you don't jump off of these docks if you're a human. I don't know what the technicalities is for a horse jumping from a high height into water, like, I imagine it kind of hurting their legs, but maybe, maybe I don't know enough about horses, which I definitely don't know enough about horses. What did you think of it? Not too bad, right? It was pretty too twisty turny, but it was fun being in the water. Prepare to get your socks blown off with the next one. Why socks? Get your socks knocked off. That's, that's the saying. You knock your socks off. Allow me to get into character. I lost my mouse. There it is. Okay. Welcome to the mystical, the magical, the wondrous. It's the Aideen Reborn race. Are you ready to take on the waves and walk on water like Aideen herself? Usually the race costs 10,001 Jorvik shillings, but as you'll be the first to try it out, we can waive that fee indefinitely. <laughs> Consider it a touch of generosity from the Minister of Tourism himself. So 400 horse XP. Okay, well, 400 horse XP for like such a short race for the one before is really good. <gasps> there's like a beach table jump i like that creative i'm very sorry starshine where am i going wait what oh i'm walking on water right i forgot sorry <laughs> force of habit or something i mean we're not really walking on water i feel like oh maybe we are it just looks like we're levitating a little bit jump this is very fun i do like it i haven't seen anyone's videos or footage on this by the way or any like pictures on instagram Yes, I kind of wish that like, I feel like the path, I feel like the path is necessary to show you where you need to go, but it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. Like I feel like photos would look so good if there wasn't that little path thing. I'm going to take it that if you fall off the path, like you're falling into the water, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can... Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't make me fail the race for that. I was experimenting. Yeah, I totally see why... Oh, okay. That seems dangerous. <gasps> jumping over boats. Jumping over boats. I told like, you need the pathway. It's just... If you took a picture, it kind of looks like you are, like, riding on something. It's really... I've watched a couple of videos about people, like, talking about the science of walking on water and, like... I don't know, there was one and like in films and stuff, I think it was in a viral video, they just had like a dock underneath the water that you couldn't see in the angle of the video and the people just like ran on it but it looked like they were walking in the water. I don't know, that that's kind of cool, you know film tricks. Film tricks are fun. This is a very long race. Oh look, it's the shark! What's his name? Like Barry or something? Hi Mr. Shark! Oh, hello! Oh my gosh, where did he go? This seems like very shallow water to have a shark in. Anyways, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, this feels like a very long race for 400 XP, but I did fall off that bridge purposefully. Anyways, I feel like I was expecting a lot more with the shark. They hyped up the shark. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. It worked! I can't believe that it worked! I'm one step closer to reaching my dreams of being a real magician just like Yidris. Huh? You're still here? Please tell me you didn't just hear that. I heard everything. Ears on the back of my head. Thanks for trying out my race. Be sure to put in a good word with Mel and Talia for me. Wow, a free shirt for my closet. It doesn't, this, this looks like something that I already own. <laughs> I think it's like a slightly lighter blue. Like I feel like there's three blue colors of this shirt. Maybe I'm just going crazy. It probably just looks like another one. Okay, yeah, I feel like, I feel like the shark was hyped up and it, it didn't do that much oh maybe it's during fishing oh am i going back to talia oh i thought that was the quest finish but we're going back here okay you're back if you're here and not swimming to shore with autumn root well, then that means only one thing it must be real did you really ride on water i did it was pure magic yeah it was an interesting trick for sure i'm gonna say that one <laughs> Exactly! It had to be just a trick, right? There's no way it can be real. Especially with James Clownmill being involved. He always seems to be scheming one way or another. One well, way or another. Whatever the case, James is totally killing our chances of a relaxing beach festival. Don't worry, Talia. I'm sure we can make it work somehow. There are so many other ways to enjoy yourself here without spending all your Jorvik shillings or risking your life. <sighs> You're right, Mel. And there's still time to make things work with James. The show must go on. We hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. There's much to do and see and more to come soon. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Tolly, for the bow. That, that's quite glorious, I must say. I'm just editing this now and I realize I said glorious and I think that's just absolutely hilarious. Like, so ironic and iconic. Let's go do some fishing. Oh, wait, what do you have to see here? <gasps> Oh my gosh, is it is it Tim? I remember filming a video to this and I think my grandparents were home. Well, not home because obviously I live in a completely different state to my grandparents. My family is so spread out across Australia anyways. Um, my parent, my grandparents were visiting my family and I was, I, this video never saw, I never ended up editing it or anything. But I remember I got so into reading the quest line. It was so entertaining. I like started off really quiet because obviously like filming with other people in the room or like in the, in the living room, like awkward but then i got into it and at the end i was like uh, i don't want to go out and face them again speaking of people being really close so the plot of land i don't know if you guys have heard me talk about it before next to me it's got like a building on it well it's sold and now there's like literally people there every single day like so many cars in the car park going into this building i think they're like working inside of it and then they're gonna turn turn the car park into a six eight story building or something like that and it feels so awkward because like where like everyone's like so close to me i feel so exposed like i feel so awkward filming a video right now like someone could literally like look out one of the windows over there look through my window and see me talking to myself but i think my windows are slightly tinted so i'm hoping that they can't see inside but i can't see out i don't know anyways it makes me feel very awkward speaking of people what my older brother showed 
like most recent youtube video to my cousins <sighs> and that like i cringe at that also because like he had to show that video which i spent not a lot of time editing because i was going away and it's a let's play video like that's the worst video to show them i literally i i die inside a little bit moving along what's up cassandra things are totes groovy over here Sure, I got demoted to cleaning duties, but it was about time for me to come to terms with my exotic drinks, bit flopping. Nah, now I've moved on to bigger, better things. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think I'm like sleep deprived or something. Yep, now I'm all for the environment, dude. Today's eco motto, fish are friends. That's what my guy Bruce says anyway. <laughs> oh, he would if he could talk, but doesn't he doesn't need to speak for me to understand. I can see it in his eyes, you know. Am I giving him like a Texas accent or something? I'm really bad at my accents. I'm so sorry if I just offended a bunch of people. He's saying feed me, but not fish. I want smoothie scraps. Give me the peel, the seeds, the rind, the stems. That's the good stuff, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look like your surfboard just snapped in half. What's the face for? Oh, wait, I haven't told you who Bruce is. How rude of me. Bro, no, Bruce is iconic. I, He's iconic. Bruce is my pet shark and best friend in the world. Oh, is this the part where I get to feed the shark this? This is what they were promoting. I did get ahead of myself. Myself. I feed him every day so he doesn't get peckish. Otherwise, I try to steal the beachgoers' ice creams. Or oh, the beachgoers themselves, eh? Am I right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> then he'll move on to something more hearty, like sandals. And then, well, you don't want to know what he'll eat next. What? The, the, the towels? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, okay, let's, let's just say I had to pick out horse hair from... Probably stay <laughs> Star Staple, Star Staple, eight-year-olds play this game. Literally, I bet there's like a six-year-old out there playing this game. Star Staple, you can't even imply stuff like that. It's gonna make me cry. Just dashing, dude. I haven't skipped a day of feeding Bruce yet. But without someone's help, today might be the day I do. Talia will have my head if I leave my shift, so I need to help. So I need help to feed Bruce whilst the festival's in full swing. What do you say? Will you help an old shark out? Take this bucket of fruit and pour it straight into the scene. Good old Bruce will have to be good for the day. I can't speak. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. I'll go pour some fruit into the sea. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. Feels good. Okay. Is the shark over here? Yeah, the shark should- Okay, there we go. The, the render distance was just low. Can I stay on my horse? I feel a lot safer if I stay on my horse. Uh, no click and drag. That's fine. That's fine. He's very close close to us there's no animation either well now i feel a bit ripped off there was no at swimming very <laughs> you fed bruce return to shibby tim i feel a bit ripped off there there was no animation i swear star stable was promoting an animation for that but it's bad it's bad i want to do fishing i want to see what this improved fishing is like Dude, you're the best. Shibby. Hey, you're like the most competent person I met today. That's saying a lot, isn't it? You seem to know what you're doing around it. If you help me with some other tasks, I'll make sure you get properly paid. See it as a summer job of sorts. You dig? It's winter. Do I dig? I, I can dig the sand. I'll have a task or three for you every day, and I swear you'll get paid for the work you do. Is it going to be like summer tokens? Okay, wait, what task do you have? Ingredients delivery. Yo, you know that Shibi Captain Waterloo dude, he is prepped a delivery of smoothie ingredients outside of the disco. Can you go pick them up for me? <laughs> I need to stop doing the accent, but it's like kind of too addicting. Do I get the things for this? Do I get this, the summer tokens? I'm so sorry if I call them spring tokens at any point. It's just kind of in my brain to call them spring tokens. They are called, yeah, they are summer tokens this time. Clean the beach. Yo, this morning I noticed a bunch of glass bottles on the beach. Not cool, pal. If they break, someone can hurt. I'm gonna like literally want to throw myself out of the window. I'm on the ground floor, completely safe. Whilst I'm editing this video, I'm like actually will consider cutting it out. <laughs> can you go pick up the glasses on the beach and save the poor beach goer's feet? I feel like there's oh, the glass on oh, the glasses. I feel like there's such a difference between my my Australian accent, like glass. Gla Last. I don't bro I don't even know water in the water I don't even okay food Bruce okay yep let's go feed the shark okay fun stuff fun stuff grateful of fun times I don't know the rest of the quote 
Oh, okay. There's no animation. Cool. Just a bunch of glass. At least it's glass and not like plastic. Like glass is better than plastic, right? Right? I don't know, man. Oh, now this is plastic. Unless it's like a glass soda bottle thing. I don't really know. Can I? Yes. I'm clicking the E button. The E button? I've started using the E button a little bit. This animation kind of annoys me. Like this cutscene, I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I use the E button like a little bit. I wouldn't say that I'm an E button connoisseur, but I use it just a little bit, just a little bit in my in my day to day, week to week uses. You know, I saw someone use the um, AEDT time zone before, and it's concerned me because I don't think it's daylight saving yet, and I'm just hoping that I'm not that I'm not like missing something. I'm also concerned like I never, oh my gosh, I can only canter. Hang on, let me, do, let me, I have, it's been a long time since I've had to do this. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time since I've had to do that. I also like didn't double, triple check that my university doesn't go back until next week. So um, I didn't even check once. I don't, I think I just saw it on our semester calendar thing, like when my, brother was planning our trip to the snow um yeah so i'm just assuming that i'm not back at uni yet right now basically <laughs> i don't know man i don't know i'm pretty sure i'm not back you see i don't have like friend people to be like yo well my friends live in a different state um with my high school friends so they are back in in university right now because states have different university times Anyways, let's go talk. Let's go talk to the man himself. Okay, there we go. Give me all of that summer tokens. Yes, I get two summer tokens. How many summer tokens do I need? How many times can I say summer tokens in one video? Summer tokens, summer tokens. Okay, let's get some fishing done. I'm excited to see what they're talking about fishing for. Hello, would you like to try your hand at some catch and release fishing? Ooh, I've been fishing once and I caught like the biggest fish. I caught the only fish that day. It was with my friend. And I caught the biggest fish of that type I think they'd seen or something. I'm not sure. But I felt too bad to like kill it. So I, I did let it go. I caught and released. <laughs> if you've met one of my local colleagues before, you'll notice that the fishing technique we employ here is a bit different. It's easy. So don't worry if you're not experienced with fishing in your vic. We only use bait, no hooks, and release the fish upon capture. You can borrow a rod from me to fish up to five fish daily. Okay, thank gosh, because I do not know where my fishing rod is <laughs> i also have a portable radio that you can use to oh listen to some tunes while you're fishing oh <gasps> star stable can we have a portable radio at all times i feel like that would be fun i've got a few pre-selected tracks that don't scare the fish away in fact you should be able to hear when they've taken the bait if you need any advice on how to fish you can always talk to me i'll be here the whole festival i'm turning on my game sound for this because i usually have it turned off because i add music and editing so um it's a little awkward when you have like multiple songs going at once look at look at the horse over there what's your name um meteor look at how how it's glitching yep that's fun stuff that should be it if you like this kind of fishing then maybe you should let my colleagues know Okay, how do I use the radio? How do I use the radio? This is important. I want a radio on me at all times because that'll be fun for like... I usually listen to Spotify or like, you know, watch a YouTube video on Netflix while I was training. But like, Star Stable, why can't you make the other pe <gasps> people invisible? Okay, first song we have is... I'm not very good at Star Stable songs. But like, there's some songs which I can guess in like the, the one second. Like, five star songs I can guess in like with the first note. I was too slow. Sorry, I'm focusing on the song. Okay, let's let's listen to the second one. What? I feel like the thing isn't going underneath the water. There we go. Okay. How is this fishing easier? This fishing does not seem easier to me. I can't see from this angle. Yo, you can't tell when the water's going underneath when the bobby thing is going underneath. It's like glitching out. Like with the ref with the new water type, you can't see. Okay, this is music without lyrics, and I like music with lyrics. I can't see when the thing goes under the water. Okay, you can kind of see, but I think I'm just dumb. Oh wait, does it make a sound? When you're meant to click? I guess that's helpful. But I kind of talk too much. And I have a really slow reaction speed. Dang it, I didn't get to see the, um, I didn't get to listen to the fourth track. Anyways, yeah, I have a really slow reaction speed, so I, the music didn't help me, but that's just me. Hopefully it helped you guys. That music was disappointing. I got excited for no reason. Good job, I hope you... 
hope to see you here tomorrow as well. I do like the idea of fishing as an activity here at the festival. Um, I think that's really fun, but I think that's everything for this week. <gasps> Oh, the swings. That's kind of fun. But I currently have 26 tokens. I don't think I'm going to do videos on the tokens like I did for the spring tokens because I think I'm just too late for that. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see something like that maybe in the in the future. -y. Future. I think I'm going to get the saddle because I do really like the saddle. I, I like saddles. Saddles are nice stuff. Good saddle stuff. No! Star stable. I thought I could sit on the swings. I thought, oh, you have to go from behind. You have to go from behind. There we go. Well, that's going to be it for this uh, summer festival video. I want to hide my interface. Thank you. And the thing isn't where I can hide your interface. It's not working. It's not working. Anyways, I'll see you guys in just a little bit for week two of this event. And um, I hope you guys have had fun collecting the summer tokens so far. Let me know if you like the items that you can get. I feel like it's a very acquired taste. You might only like a couple of items and like you mix it into your own outfits kind of things. But I like the outfit. I haven't had it all. I haven't got it all yet and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and like edit this video and then go have a little cry because I want to buy, I want to buy the outfits, but I literally, this is the state, like this is the only space I have left for clothes. <laughs> Not ideal. Anyways, I do hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all later. Bye.